Hello friends. Today we will discuss the auto synchronizer of a synchronous generator. Let's start from this single line diagram. This is generator. From generator the power is flowing into the generator transformer. From generator transformer it is going to the generator transformer circuit breaker and after that the transmission line is going to the grid. These are the two potential transformers uh, which are giving inputs to the device called auto synchronizer. One input is coming from the generator PT for measuring the generator uh, terminal voltage. Another input is coming from the switchyard bus PT for measuring the voltage of the grid or infinite bus. Now these two inputs are fed into the ASSR or auto synchronizer. So now when we are going to synchronize our unit with the infinite bus, for that we have to send a signal to the auto synchronizer, a command to the auto synchronizer. After receiving uh, the command from the operator, the auto synchronizer is now activated. It will compare, after receiving the signal, it will compare both the voltages. The one voltage it is receiving from the generator PT, the other voltage it is receiving from the switchyard PT. So it will compare both the voltages. While comparing, it will see mainly three things. One, the magnitude of the voltage. Second, the frequency of the voltage. Third, the phase angle of the voltage. So it has three settings. One is allowable voltage difference setting. Second is allowable frequency difference setting. Third is allowable load angle difference setting. So when comparing if the voltage is outside the tolerance limit of this setting, immediately it will send an output signal to the automatic voltage regulator to control the excitation current of the generator field winding. By controlling the excitation current, the generator voltage, it will be controlled and it may come equal with the grid voltage. And suppose if the frequency difference is outside the tolerance limit of the uh, setting in auto synchronizer, then this auto synchronizer will send an output signal to the DEH of the turbine in order to control the speed of the rotor. And by controlling the speed of the rotor, the frequency of the generated voltage can be controlled and can be uh, brought equal with the grid frequency. And similarly for uh, making the load angle difference within the allowable limit, the auto synchronizer will send a signal to the DEH of the turbine for controlling the speed. So if I will summarize, the auto synchronizer is taking two inputs, one input from the generator PT, second input from the switchyard PT and by comparing uh, it decides whether the signal has to be uh, sent to the automatic voltage regulator or to the DEH of the turbine. Now suppose now the auto synchronizer has brought all the three parameters into the allowable limit. Now auto synchronizer will go for synchronization. So it will uh, release one contact and uh, the contact is present in series with the closing circuit of the GT circuit breaker. So now the GT circuit breaker will get a close command from here and the GT circuit breaker will get closed and the generator will be synchronized with the grid by this GT breaker. We have to take care of two things while synchronizing that our speed should be little higher as compared to the grid frequency. Means suppose in India the grid frequency is 50.0 so the uh, so for a two pole machine the speed will be 3000 rpm. So my generator speed I have to maintain a little higher than 3000 rpm because when suddenly the load it is coming in, uh, into the shaft of the uh, rotor the generator will start deaccelerating. So this uh, job is done by the auto synchronizer and we have to just see whether my, my after giving the excitation my voltage is equal to the grid voltage and my frequency is nearly equal to the grid frequency. After that everything uh, is done by the auto synchronizer only. 
and suppose uh, after synchronization uh, suddenly the generator uh, will start generating a certain megawatt uh, now for generating uh, the rated megawatt it will take some time so at that time the turbine bypass valve is closed and the steam work done is increased and the delta this load angle is shifted towards right side and as we know that power is equal to ev by x sin delta so by increasing the steam the delta can be increased and when the delta is increased the automatically the electrical power it will increase so in this way the electrical output of the generator is increase and uh, brought to its rated power after certain time period okay so thank you i hope you are clear with the auto synchronizer uh, okay good night and have a nice day